Hey there, welcome to the very first video of this C programming playlist. I'm so excited to do this with you and it's Brian Daniel from B Wave IC. Someone said I should say a rhyme to introduce this playlist that's so fine. But I'm going to decline because we don't have time. So let's dive in and learn. Because at the end of the day, we believe say our water go turn wine. I mean, I want to go wine. I believe say my water go turn wine. In this video, you are going to learn how to install and set up your C programming environment so that you can write your first lines of C code together with me. Are you ready and excited? If yes, let's get right into it. To start running our C programs, we need to download a few things. Number one is the text editor where our program is going to run on. And it's called an IDE, which means Integrated Development Environment. Basically, that's where you type your codes. And the second, we need a compiler to actually compile the code. So when we type the codes, we have to compile it to machine language so that we can get the desired results. Now for IDEs, there are a lot of them, but the most popular and easy to use one is Visual Studio Code. So if you have VS Code, you could open it. But if you don't have VS Code, we are going to install it now live. So let's walk you through the installation. All you have to do is come here to your Chrome or whatever browser you're using and just type in VS Code Download and just type this VS Code Download here on your search engine and you're going to see here the very first link that comes up, Download Visual Studio Code. Just click on it. You should see a page that's open just like this and once you see it all you have to do is open the one that you want to use now i assume most people are using windows but if you're not you can also see the page for mac so this that's one for mac there or for linux now we're going to download and install for windows which is very simple all you have to do just click on this download button here and instantly it's going to start take you to the download page automatically the download should start once the download is done you should see it in your downloads folder so our download is done and you can see it's on the, the vs code already in our folder all you have to do right now is just click on open and it's going to open up now click on i agree and continue to install once you Click on install, go ahead and next everything. Everything it says, just press next, next, next till the end and you'll be done. I already have VS Code, so I will not be continuing the installation process. All right, that's all for the installation process of VS Code. Now, once you finish installing, you should start your VS Code. You should open it and get started. If you had any issues with the installation of VS Code, which you wouldn't have because it's incredibly easy and simple, Please send a message in the comment section here and we will reply as soon as we see it. The next thing we'll have to install is the compiler GCC. Now to install this compiler, it's a little different and um, it's a little difficult. But at B with ICT, we make learning tech easy. So we are going to be installing the C compiler for Windows in a very easy way. In fact, I've made everything easy for you. So let me show you what you have to do. So the compiler we're going to be installing for our C program is the GCC compiler. And we can't just go online and search for GCC. So we have to install something called mean GW. And then that thing we install is going to download or install GCC for us. And the process is a whole lot. It's a little complicating. So what I did is I did all the installation for you and all you have to do is follow the simple steps. So you are going to come to this repository and this is the official repository for this playlist. It means all the codes, all the source codes you would have in this playlist. Everything you can find them on this repository absolutely free. All you have to do is just come to GitHub here, give this repository a star 
follow us on GitHub too. So I've, the link to this repository is down below. It means that you can come here, click on this link. And in this repository, click on the Google Drive link. Just click on it there. Remember, I have already downloaded and installed MinGW. And all you have to do is just download what I've already compressed down. So it's going to show you all of this message, couldn't preview file because it's large. It's about 300 MB. So all you have to do is click download. Now, once you click download, it's going to start downloading here. You can see by this right hand side, it's already downloading. So all you just have to do is wait for it to finish downloading. Once your downloads is completed, you should see your downloads folder exactly the way it is on my screen. Now right click and click on extract all. You want to click on extract all and it should show you a destination to extract files. Come here, click on browse. And on browse, you should see, make sure you're sending it to local dig. So assuming it's on desktop, just come down, come to local digs here and then select folder. Once you see select folder this way, you can then extract. And once you click extract, you should see all of this. Now it's going to typically take some time, maybe two, three, four, five minutes, depending on your computer. Please be patient and give it time. When you are done extracting in your local dig C folder, now how do you I see that local dig? Just your left hand corner, you should look down, you'll see local dig C. If you click on it, you should see this folder, main GW. Once you see it, great job. Now click the main GW folder and click bin. Bin is the first one, so click click um to open bin. Your bin folder, once you see this way, very good. Now, don't touch anything here. Just come up. You could see this, this place that looks like a bar. So, come here. Click inside. Once you click inside, it should show like this. Right click to copy. Copy it. And once you've copied it, we've done more than half of what is required. Next thing we'll do is to come here and search on your computer. So I just press the Windows key. Come here. Now you would have to type edits. So immediately I just type edits. I can see the best match. Edits the system environment variables. Once you see this, click on it. Once we click on it, it's going to open. So you see down below, I'm going to open it. Now click on these environment variables, this button here. I've clicked on it. You should see these user variables for user. Please don't touch anything up. Come down, you should see system variables. Now click on parts. Double click on parts. It's going to open like this. And once it's open, just come here, click on new. Now what you've previously copied, paste it. So you should see the location like this. Once you have this, go ahead and click on OK. 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 That's it, guys. It's done. <laughs> We've installed both our VS Code and our compiler. Once again, the process for installing the compiler is stressful. So I did all of that for you, installing all of these files and then compress it so that you have it. It's time to write our very first lines of code. Let's see if we really have our compiler and our text editor installed correctly. Right now, I'm in my desktop environment and we are going to create a folder. And inside this folder, that's where we're going to write all our C files, all the lessons, all the programs. So right click here and come to new. Now click on folder and I'm going to call this C programming. So C programming. And this is the folder we are going to open in VS code. So all you have to do is right click on this folder you've just created. Now, if you're using windows 10, you should just see here, um, 
open in code if you're using windows 11 you should see this basically open with code click on it and it's going to open up our visual studio code for us look at the folder with open c programming let's create our very first file to do that just click on this plus button here to create your very first file i'm going to delete this welcome screen click here and hello.c so the name of this file would be hello.c yeah hello.c and press enter yeah we are going to write our very first lines of code so let's go ahead you could just write along with me and later we'll talk about why we wrote this code the way we did it we'll talk about what all of this does so include stdio.h next up we have int main and in here let's write this so print f hello world and that's all all right so these are very first lines of c programming code the next thing you want to do after this is to come here click on this view and click on terminal we're going to use our terminal to compile code every time so once you click on view terminal it should open up like this the way it is here and all you have to do is just type gcc gcc now that's the command always type gcc because that's the compiler we're using and then the name of the file so hello.c gcc hello.c you could just type it just like this and press enter now after pressing enter list out what you have by typing ls you are going to see that we have a new file called a.exe a.exe so we are going to run it by doing dot slash a dot exe now dot a forward slash a forward slash here a dot exe just like this press enter and now hey look we have the same things we wrote here hello world it's currently down here so that's it our text editor has been installed our compiler has been installed and you're all set to begin your journey as a software engineer using the c programming language in the second video we would explain basically all what we did here and we'll start learning more about c